This is Ashley with the Lean House Dobermans. We're going to go over our bachelor's degree program with you today. This is our 20 week program, meaning the puppies go home at 20 weeks or five months of age. We'll go over what you can expect from this program. A big part of our training is crate and house training. So you can see these puppies are nice and quiet in their crates, just resting. And this puppy is being shown how to go in the crate when asked and to come out of the crate when asked. We keep these sessions very fun for the puppy. We want the crate to be a great experience for them. And as you can see, this puppy is having a lot of fun with it. And that's exactly what we want. We also teach them to go outside to potty. So we, along with this, train them to sit and wait at the doors. We don't want our puppies just barging out the doors. That's very unsafe. So we do teach them to sit at the door and wait to be released to go out. You can also see this puppy is not just bolting away when that leash is taken off. They learn to stick close to their handlers and check in. And you can see as soon as this puppy goes to the potty area, he already knows what he's supposed to do. And he's about to be rewarded by his handler for that. And it is important to remember that even though we have done this work, you will still have to do some work to introduce the puppy to their new environment and potty area at home. This puppy is still sitting nicely before he gets to go inside. We do a lot of social group potty walks, is kind of what we call them, that allows the puppies to still be social with each other and learn to pay attention even when in a group. Another big part of our program is teaching our puppies to act appropriately in a home environment. So this involves teaching them not to counter surf, not to get into the trash, to learn to settle when they're in the house, and things of that nature. You can see one of these puppies is learning their downstay and to stay in that downstay even when their handler goes out of the room or goes over and sits down a ways away puppy in the background there is just learning to settle next to the handler. This is a really important part of training with our puppies because most of their time is going to be spent in the house just relaxing. So this puppy in the foreground you can see is on the place cot while another puppy is being worked right next to them. And then two puppies in the background are also on their place cots, just learning to settle even when other things are going on around them. This is a very important thing as well because the place cot teaches them that it's okay to settle in the house. They don't have to be active and doing something all the time. These puppies do very much enjoy working. As you can see, they're very attentive to their handlers. They're ready for the next command, um, and they're performing very well. You can see this puppy is getting into heel position. See this puppy staying on the place guide even while the handler goes into another room for a moment. And still stays on the place cot when she goes to pick up that wet floor sign and put it up. Both of these puppies are doing very, very well staying on their place cots as they should. And it is important at this age that they are still rewarded very consistently. We want to instill all of these good behaviors and by rewarding more often, um, you're essentially putting money in the bank, so to speak, for them. All of these puppies are doing really well in their place command. We 
do like to work them a lot together so that they have, they're essentially distractions for each other. So they can learn to be working under distractions without a problem. You can see this puppy is healing along with his handler while his other puppy is on the place cup. this handler doing some sweeping just making sure the puppy is not going to break that place cot stay um, this is another thing we do you know to make them used to home environment things so we do sweeping mopping vacuuming that type of thing around them when this puppy is getting bathed we do bathe them about every couple of weeks we want them to be used to being bathed so that's not a problem for their owners when they go home we also do other typical grooming things, we trim their nails, both with clippers and a Dremel. We use blow dryers, we dry them with towels, anything that we can do to get them used to things that they may be introduced to in the future. So it's not for the first time they're used to everything. You can see this puppy, this was the first time this puppy was introduced to the blow dryer. Um, so he's been given food so that he associates the blow dryer with something good. can be pretty loud and it's a little bit of a weird sensation. And this puppy's about to get his nails dremel. You can see he's laying calmly. And we do get them used to being held and cuddled with and things of that nature so that when they go home, if you have kids um, that want to cuddle with them and play with them, they're used to that kind of thing. also like to do environmental things like this, getting them used to jumping into things that they're not typically used to, things that may make loud noises, um, going on the seesaw or teeter-totter so that they're used to having things moving underneath their feet. Um, we do a lot of agility things, obviously low-level things since they're puppies, to help build confidence with them. You can see this puppy is essentially in a situation where you know you might have at home when you're picking things up around the house and this is what we call healing or loose leash walking we want that puppy to be on our left side and paying attention to where we are not cutting in front of us um, not trying to trip us up not pulling out ahead and this puppy is doing great with that the other puppies on her place cot um, so this helps both puppies with distractions and this puppy's doing her sit stay at this age we are introducing distractions with our stays so this jug is filled with uh, rocks so that it's a little bit loud so when somebody kicks it around they're not bothered by that and again, working on that place cot, this is something that we do work on quite a bit because it does help with their self-control, impulse control, that type of thing. So we do like to work on that a lot so that when they go home, you can utilize that. We like to tell people to use it when they're in the kitchen cooking and they don't want the puppy underfoot or when they're eating dinner so they're not right at the table um, or, you know, when people come over, that type of thing. And as you can see, they're mimicking if you were to meet someone else with a dog on the sidewalk when you're out for a walk. We wanna make sure these guys understand that when you stop, they need to sit, even if there's another dog around. With this program, you can typically expect a puppy to do a sit or a down stay for about 30 seconds with fairly heavy distraction and you should be able to walk about 30 feet from them. As far as for the leash walking, we do quite a bit of heavy distraction with them at this age. They should be able to handle a fair amount of that along with automatically sitting when you stop. With our recalls, 
We can typically expect them to do a nice recall within about 30 feet with heavy distractions as well. So that would include like the jug that you saw um, being kicked around to distract the puppy or other puppies and things like that. With the place cot, with minimal distraction, we would expect about a five minute stay from about 10 feet or so. If there's no distractions going on, you can expect them to be able to stay on that place cot for a longer duration. So for example, if you were watching a movie, something like that with the place cot next to the couch, they should be able to stay on there for quite a bit longer than that five minute period. Of course, these are still puppies, you know, they will only be five months old when they go home. So it is very important that you continue working with them, that you become very consistent with training them. Um, it's very similar to having, you know, a 10 year old at home. You know, they may know quite a bit, but they're still not finished growing. They're not finished maturing and they still need quite a bit of work and have a lot of learning to do. With that recall we do want them coming back to you nice and fast and sitting in front of you just as that puppy is done. So all of these puppies by the time they go home will be finished with their vaccines. So they will have had their full puppy series of vaccines along with their rabies vaccine and kennel cough vaccines. Um, they will also have been started on a heartworm flea and tick prevention monthly. They will also have had their ears posted regularly. Some puppies at this age will be finished posting, but the majority will need to be posted after they go home for a little while. A lot of puppies will need to be posted through teething.